The S23 Ultra was my pick for 2023's best, but this year the S24 Ultra has some new AI features that we've never seen on another Samsung device. The S24 has big shoes to fill. Did it fill them? There are a few key features this year that should make upgrading worth it, but if you make it to the end of the video and you don't care about the features I talked about, then congratulations, you saved yourself around $300. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja, and let's talk about it. When we discuss build and design, there isn't much here that has changed at all, but I don't see that as being a bad thing. You know, the S23 Ultra to me had some of the best big phone design stuff out there. It was perfect in the hand, it was great for consuming content with its large display, but also when it came to productivity with the included S Pen. It was a little mobile workhorse computer. The changes we do see, you would need to know what you're looking for to even see them. Like the display is now completely flat and the sides are titanium, which gives the phone a better feel in the hand and it also makes it lighter too. Now the front of the device is also stronger with Corning Gorilla Armor. Samsung says it's 50% stronger on impacts and scratches. It's also 75% less reflective and during my testing under the lights, I can definitely see that. And the phone is also slimmer, still has the same battery size at 5000 milliamp and still includes the S Pen. For colors, the S23 Ultra came in phantom black, cream, green, and lavender. The S24 Ultra comes in black, yellow, violet, and gray. I am digging this yellow color a lot. It feels like phones went away from the yellow color the last few years, so I'm all in on yellow. Both models feature the exact 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display with a 1440p resolution, but the S24 Ultra takes it up a notch by bumping up the peak brightness to 2600 nits, which is 40% brighter. Now that's a huge boost in one year. Now, day to day, would you see this? Or would you notice this? Nah. But when you watch some of that content outside, you see that brightness pull through on the S24. Now, beyond that, everything else is gonna be unchanged on the display. The S24 raised the minimum RAM from eight gigabytes to 12 gigabytes of RAM, but still provides the same storage size at 256, 512, and one terabyte. And, and, and stop asking about the SD card slot. We have moved on as people. SD card slots are gone. You, you gotta stop asking about it. I'm sorry. Now we also have a new processor inside the S24. We are now at the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, which is big on AI. And we'll talk about that soon and how Samsung is using AI. I will also do a dedicated video on all the AI features. So make sure you hit subscribe to be notified when that video is out. A few of the new AI features we are seeing are enhanced images, video at night, and also transcript via voice notes, phone calls, and even some AI over your text. What, what, what I mean by that is that it can help you word your text messages if you don't have the right tone. But these are actually coming to the S23 as well. So they're not gonna be something only on the S24. But when it comes to camera, there are some physical hardware changes that will give you better images. You can get optical quality images from one to 10X on the S24, which gives you more consistent images through the whole zoom range. The S24 was only 3X and 10X, so anything in between there was actually a digital zoom. The pixels are also 60% larger on the S24, which will help it with low light performance. Also, there are a few more features. Samsung hasn't said if it's coming to the S23 series or not, but as of today, they're only on S24. And one of the features I'm talking about is the enhancements to skin tones. Once again, during my limited testing, I have noticed that skin tones are much more lifelike and not as washed out as previous years, but way more testing is needed between different skin tones. Also, when you do a digital zoom and you snap the photo, the AI will help clean up the image significantly after the fact. This isn't unique to this phone, but it's something that has been implemented very well. But all this is software based and historically, the previous year's phones will get features too. And Samsung confirmed that the S23 will get a lot of these features as well, which is a good thing if you're planning to keep your older device. Now, if you're a gamer, then this spec may do something for you that the S24 series supports ray tracing with the latest processor. 
Not many Android games will support this feature just yet, but once the hardware is here, maybe some of the high-end games will be coming to Android soon. But what I'm actually saying is that this year, you do have some software upgrades with display, thinner builds, better zoom lenses, but all in all, it's really the same phone as last year if you have the S23 Ultra. Now, once you get the software updates, I would say you are 90% there to an S24 Ultra, and at that point, the changes are so minimal. But that was just a quick look between both phones. But check out this video right here if you're interested in more Galaxy S24 videos.